Hello fans, viewers and subscribers. Thanks again for joining me today to have a beer review. Okay, so today we're going slightly off the mark. Um, I've gone to a totally different country, as I said I would, um, and we're now hitting the New Zealand. So today I'm going to be reviewing Castle and Sons New Zealand Wollstone Pow Ow. It comes in at a 328ml. And it is a 4.5%. Um, I do know that this, this Wollstone Pow Ow, um, it is brewed um, on the banks of Heathcote River um, in Wollstone. Um, so, hence, they'll see that little picture on the bottle there. As you can see there, that's obviously the banks of the river. Little bridge there. Um, I actually like this bottle, actually. The feel of the bottle... Uh, the actual logo itself, the writing is bold, it's bright. Um, and I love, on the bottom of this bottle here, can you see that? If you can't, that says, crafted in NZ, which is New Zealand, which I think is fantastic. Okay, so we've got, brewed on the banks of the Heathcote River in Wollstone, home to the tannery in Christchurch. This is a traditional pow ow with distinctive New Zealand character characteristics. A combination of punchy hop flavours from the late hopping Nelson Savin and non Montica Valley ties, uh, ties brings. Um, I'm quite looking forward to this one today. Uh, totally different country, gone for a pow ow. Um, not really a fan of pow owls. I don't really drink much owls if I'm truthful with you. Um, not a fan, but let's crack it open. Let's get to some smells and some taste, and let's get in with a review. Does smell very hoppy already. Whew. That's a Castle and Sons Wollstone Parallel Cap. Uh, Castle and Sons obviously are the um, the brewery. Uh, there you go. Blah, blah, blah. Hope you can see it alright, that's better for a bit there. Okay, so let's have a pour. Now that does smell very, very, very hoppy. We've got an average body of carbonation there. Really, really nectary sort of colour. And a nice, steady sort of off-white head. Oh, indeed, that smells very hoppy. I don't get anything else on that bottle. I mean, it says hot, but I'm not sure what hops are in that, but that is very, very, very strong hot. Okay, so, let's have a taste. Ah, not as bad as I thought, fans. So, you do get a very, very strong hop, like I said. This is a pale ale. I know it'd be hoppy. Um, but you do get like a toasted malt. And that just comes in well with the, the hoppiness and takes a lot of that hop out of the equation, which I think is really, really, really good. Um, not bad for the first New Zealand beer. I, I must say, I'm, I, I'm quite impressed with that. Oh yes, enjoy that very much. I got it for around about 
£2.20. Um, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Um, for those powwow lovers out there, go and grab one, taste it, review it, see what you think. If I had to rate it out of 10, um, oh, excuse me. <coughs> if I had to rate it out of 10 for a powwow, um, six. Six. Other than that, fans, thanks for joining me today with the New Zealand Wollstone Palau. Um, and please tune in next time for the next review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Jump on the Insta channel, that's doing very well. Uh, let's keep going with the followers and the uh, fans on there too. Um, and I hope you have a lovely week, and I shall see you all very soon.